So we have learned as separation techniques, electrophoresis and chromatography. So what happens when you perform electrophoresis on a serum sample? Serum protein electrophoresis or SPE, serum protein electrophoresis. Now what do you mean by electrophoresis? Electrophoresis is basically a separation technique. So you apply an electric field, so proteins in an uh, electric field present in an electrolyte, they will migrate based on their charges. So separation of charged particles in an electrolyte based on their charges, okay. Separation of charged particles in an electrolyte based on their charges provided you apply electric field okay so you have an apparatus in which you have a here you'll be having buffer you'll be having electrodes coming in you have a positive and negative electrode okay so you will have a glass slide on which you will apply your sample this is your point of application so the movement occurs from electrophoretic run occurs from negative to positive slide you will take the serum sample from the patient you will apply it on the glass slide you will study the technique in detail just for time being remember that you will apply the sample in the negative electrode near the negative electrode you place it here run occurs towards the positive electrode once the run is complete you will apply a staining solution you will fix the sample then you will apply staining solution then you will destain it so once you destain it you will get a pattern so now what is a normal serum electrophoretic pattern this is very important normal and abnormal patterns you have to learn you have this for your theory also for your practical spotters you will be asked to identify the slide whether it is a normal pattern or abnormal pattern okay so normal serum protein electrophoresis will give you five major bands which are albumin alpha 1 albumin followed by globulins a globulins are again divided into alpha 1 globulin alpha 2 beta and gamma globulins okay so when you subject a serum sample to electrophoresis normal basic electrophoresis you will get five major bands which is albumin rest is globulins globulins again divided into alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma bands you'll understand it more when you see the diagram okay so i'm going to draw normal serum protein electrophoretic pattern first thing you should have a glass slide okay i told you you're carrying out electrophoresis in a glass light normal glass light so first thing you have to apply the sample so always you should have a point of application this you will write as point of application for exam you will be asked to draw the pattern when you draw the pattern all these things should be there first thing the glass light then you have to show where you have applied the sample point of application so i told you it should be near the negative electrode so here you have negative electrode run takes place in this direction it is the sample is running from negative to positive electrode so this is your positive electrode now the pattern you should have five major bands you need albumin you need alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma globulins okay fine so your albumin is having the maximum mobility maximum mobility is shown by albumin when you apply the sample and apply the current the movement fastest moving one is albumin it goes first to the positive electrode so albumin in the pattern you see it as a very thick band at the positive electrode now followed by alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma so you'll have an alpha 1 band alpha 2 beta and a diffused band gamma so this is your albumin this is your alpha 1 alpha 2 beta and gamma so your point of application will be coinciding with the gamma band your albumin is the thickest band 
So when you see the normal pattern, there is only one thick band, which is your albumin band, okay? Here you see only one thick band. When you see in the picture also, you'll understand your textbook. Normal pattern, you have only one thick band in the positive end, that is your albumin. Followed by very thin bands, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta. Gamma, you have a wide, thin, distributed, widely distributed band, which is your gamma, coinciding with your pointer application. 